morning. So we've woken up. You can just about see the motorhome in the distance. So we had a, another motorhome and a transporter with a pop top, which looks quite cool. And just up here, we have another couple of vans. Hello everyone. If you're one of these people and you're watching this video, say hi. I'm gonna go to the train station now, because although it doesn't open until 10, it's 8.40. Ethan still wants to go and check it's not open. <laughs> Daniel Ethan. It's crossing the track. Today we've got a lot to do. We have got train, there's Ethan. We've also got our roller coaster -y experience later today. So that should be cool. I think I'm gonna book a campsite for tonight. Could do with a proper shower. Been washing, obviously, but that'd be nice. New case in. There's all these carriages everywhere. So this seems to be like a museum on this side. And then you've then got the the low gauge track there. And then you've got the real big track there. And there's people waiting for a train. So I guess we might see a train if we're lucky. Right, so just have a look at the uh, timetable. It says there's a 902 that departs from here. Going somewhere. No idea where. So it's, uh, it's due in a couple of minutes. Let's see what happens. So we're in the museum at the train station now. There's some really cool models. Check these out. And the ones, ones over here, and that one. They're actually built with like they're tapered. Everything's tapered, so you get an incredible sense of perspective and depth. It's really cool. Ethan, what do you think? Good. So here, 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 and there, there's some, uh, we call them pre-loved um, layouts that you can buy. They all need work, they only need a lot of work, but if someone wants to make them work, maybe this could be the thing for you. Look at this. That is a model train. It's huge. Do you want one, Ethan? Should we have one in the garden? Maybe. Maybe. Let's get one for the garden. So we're going to head outside in a sec. I'm going to go find the train. We've got our tickets. It's £2.50 each. Not bad. Good. Museum was uh, £2 for the adults and £1.50 for kids. So, should we go on the train? So Ethan, have you got your tickets ready? Yep. Where? Show us. Show us your tickets. Wow. What do they say? Show us the right. Look at that. Hi. Hi.
they waving at you? Are they waving at you? So you can tell everyone what you think. This is really good. Well, not track. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, we were. Yeah. That was so much fun. Do you think people should come here, Ethan? Yeah. Yeah? Do you want to come again? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> That was so good. I don't know how long it was. It, it seemed to go on forever. Well, Not in a bad way. One minute. One minute? Are you joking? It was like 10, maybe even 15 minutes. It was like, it just kept going. But like I said, not in a bad way. It was just, that track is, it's really long. Hi. Hi. We've got pate, French stick, this place. It's pretty nice. Yeah, and we're in Zip World. Yeah, we're sorry, we're at Zip World, yeah, well done. So we've got a, a booking for one thir two o'clock, which we have to be there for one thirty. So I thought we'd get here a bit early and have some food. Right, so we have had our food and it is now time. So hi. Hi. It's now time for us to get ready and go and do our thing, our roller coaster -y thing. I don't know what it's actually called. But it's like a track that goes down the hill, I think, and it's like a car thing. I'm gonna put a picture here of someone else doing it because I don't know what it's called. But yeah, we're gonna go down that now. Um, we're a little bit early, but I thought it'd be cool to go and have a little bit of a walk around and see what else there is. So we're gonna get dressed and ready, and then you'll see us going down the ride. So yeah, we'll see you when we come back, bye. Now, didn't film much yesterday because it was raining a lot. We got the, the camera very wet the day before and the day before and I thought it was a good idea to let it dry out a bit because it, was, um, it wasn't really very good. So, Ethan's got the rubbish, so we're going to go get rid of the rubbish and we're going to go for some breakfast. Rubbish is in the bin. Yeah. And there's a really nice cafe, I think. Looks nice, just by the station. So we were getting desperate for some electricity to charge devices and we wanted 
electric heating, which I've said before, is so much better, mainly because it's got a thermostat. The gas is just on at a high level or a not so high level. And the problem is, you go to bed, think it's too hot, so you turn it off mid the night, it's too cold, and then in the morning it's freezing. We much prefer the electric, it's so much better um, for the heating. Yeah, we charge the devices, and they've got showers here, which are incredible. The room is heated really nicely. It's really well lit. Everything's just, it's just clinical in a, in a good way. So we're at a Morris campsite. It's called the Riverside, name below, if I got it wrong. I think it's the Riverside touring, caravan touring place thing. I don't know now. <laughs> Let's have a look. But yeah, we're here. And it's a sort of a 15 minute walk, I think, into Vertisicoid. So it's probably like a four minute, five minute walk maybe from where we were. We were quite far down because um, motorhome section and caravan section is, is beyond all this. Nice walk, it's nothing, nothing to be scared of unless you don't like walking obviously. Yeah, you've got all these mobile homes here and, and then literally there is the station. It's like another minute because you've got to walk, walk up to it and then cross over the bridge. Has anyone been here before? walking past St Michael's Old Church and we just wanted to show you how low this is. Hello. 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 So you going to have a look at what you can find. It's not built for people like me. So we're in St Michael's Churchyard. Just by the train station. This place is so peaceful. I feel like I should be quieter. It says they're open to visitors from 10 to 4 daily. They can't promise every day, which is fair. So if you fancy a look inside, come down. And uh, if they're open, you can go inside. There's loads, loads of really low branches. I think they must have a really short congregation. <laughs> Or well, they must have done at one point anyway. You're okay, you're not, you're, you're not hitting the bushes. <laughs> so we're gonna go back to the motorhome now. We need to go and tidy up, because well, it's not that bad actually, it's okay. Tidy up, get it ready to move. And we will then travel somewhere. I'm not sure where we're gonna go yet. I need to make sure I don't put myself up. We're gonna go and find somewhere to put the drone up. This place is so amazing, like, I mean, Snowdonia. Such a cool place, such a waste to not have a look with the drone. Um, actually, what I'll do, I'm gonna go look at the facilities now. So, let's look at what they've got. We have just stopped somewhere where are the British Ironwork Centre, somewhere on the A5, I think. I'm sure, on the A5. But they've got this um, kind of exhibition, I guess, thing. So, oh, cool. So it's uh, in support of Ukraine, which is amazing. So, check this out. Look. 
Go and stand next to that, Ethan. Show everyone how big it is. Look at that. Can't even see you, Ethan. You're so small. Wow. Isn't that good? Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the drone out. So they've got a few more models, a few more things, whatever they're called. Just, just, just slightly on the ground, so I'm going to take it over and have a look at them. That site was pretty cool. I, I've never been there, never seen it before. But it's uh, full of lots of sculptures and stuff. I have no idea what else they do. Um, I'm going to put a thing below so you can check it out yourselves. But if you're travelling on the uh, A5, it's probably worth a stop. There were some huge sculptures and some slightly more normal sized ones. Whatever normal sized sculptures look like. Just on our way home, and we saw what must be the largest motorhome caravan, mobile home, etc, etc place I've ever seen. So, we thought we'd have a look around. Now we're gonna go see if we can find a, a really big motor home. <laughs> <laughs> Right everyone, so we have found a motorhome that is the right size for us. Because for me and Ethan it's fine, with all four of us we just need a bit more space. So I'm convinced tag axle is the answer, which is du double axle just in case you don't know. This one has a massive space for the bed, which is beautiful, up top. Swivel seat for the passenger, and then you've got four, four seats here as we have already. A shame they're not travel seats, those two, which is a bit dull. But then up this end, what have we got Ethan? We've got a toilet. It says don't use. Also, shower. Shower as well. Cool. And then this huge sofa area. It's massive. What do you think, Ethan? Good. But yeah, this this one is uh this one's big. This one's massive. I love the separation between the front and the back. That's yeah. really cool. The Kentucky Swift that we've seen, that we really like. The kitchen which is here, is in this space here. And that means you've got clear run visually all the way to the back. And this part here is a sofa. It's gotta be perfect. There's no point in buying one if it's not perfect. So we're gonna look in the Tag Axle Contiki Swift, which at a hundred and something thousand is quite high, but I think it's the answer. It's the 874. 874. Very nice. I don't think caravans for us. It just doesn't give the flexibility for travel. We just want to go different places every day. Right, Ethan, let's go to the next place. Come on, go, go, go. These places are dangerous. Got my heart set on one of those Kentucky Swifts. The big one, the really big one. 
my suggestion is, my only solution, sorry, is if you all get on, buy me a coffee, and buy me a coffee. And if everyone buys me a coffee, and then buys me some more coffees, and then again, then we might be able to pay for the tires. <laughs> I really want one. Yeah, right, we're gonna go back in our motorhome now, which we love very much, obviously. We're very grateful for. And get some lunch, says Ethan. We're gonna get some lunch. But if anyone does want to buy us a coffee, the link's below. Don't feel you have to, obviously, just, you know, if you want to, it's there. Buy us loads of coffee and we can buy a motorhome. No, I'm joking. Right, <laughs> come on, Ethan. Wait. Let's go. Oh, I just guess. Right, so this, this motorhome here is towing a car. Not a new thing to us, I know about it, but does anyone do that? Um, is it worth it? Because obviously when you get to a site, or somewhere, you're limited, aren't you, I guess? Or are you not? Comment below, please. Tell me what you think of the subject. Is it a good idea to tow a car? <laughs> now, obviously, if there's, a, there's no overwhelming response for yes, it doesn't mean I'm going to start doing it. Because I'm not convinced for us it works, but... Yeah. Right, next stop, food. Hi. So, we've just got back home. I sort of see the house somewhere over there. And we just thought we'd end the video. So, we've had a really good time. Yeah. What's your favourite thing, Ethan? Going on the road, yeah, I've really enjoyed that ride. That was so much fun. We've had lots of yummy food, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, it's been really good. So we're going to put the motorhome back on the drive, empty it, and get it ready for the next trip. See you soon. Bye. Bye.